How could Megumi die like this? A simple case of anemia can kill someone so quickly? I'm not sure. I won't know more until I can examine her. It appeared to just be anemia. But even if it was something more, I felt certain we could afford to wait until the blood test results came back. I honestly don't know what to make of this. What would you like to do? If possible, I'd like to perform an autopsy to see if I can pinpoint the exact cause of death. No, no autopsy! Please, honey. No. It's all right. I understand. I know what I'm asking is very difficult. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to do that. She's a young girl, gone before her time. Please just leave her in peace. Very well. Time of death is 2 a.m. Cause of death is acute heart failure. Ah, you see. Increase in reticulocyte. Nucleated erythrocyte also confirmed. Bone marrow. Hyperplasia of erythroblast. No abnormality in its formation. Could it be that hematopoiesis is accelerating because large amounts of red blood cells are being consumed? There's still no external or internal bleeding, though. Both the serum bilirubin and LDH are normal. The Coombs test result is negative, and it's not hemolysis, either. The more I think about it, the more I feel I've ruled out every possibility. Something doesn't add up. You look dead tired. Here, have something to eat. Or not. I didn't think much of it, but they all had what looked like insect bites. <laughs> Except, these marks weren't caused by insects. It was Okiagari. <laughs> Toshio, please, tell me this is some kind of joke. I wish it was. <laughs> monster are you well of course it's not what i think it's just something that other people might say I... <laughs> that's enough you disgust me <laughs> i can't believe dad slapped me and munitaka was so angry it's all chica and that brat hirobi's fault none of this would have happened if it wasn't for them annoying but there's no need to worry because i make it a point to carry a back scratcher with me for times just like this one of course for times like this yeah right so much. You've been a big help. My name's Toru Muto. I live in the house right around the corner. You should stop by and visit sometime. Cool. Would you mind terribly if I brought a friend along with me? No problem. All right. I'll definitely come and visit sometime soon. I did it! 
Natsuno. I killed off one of the Okiagani. <laughs> See? I'm a dependable father! Following one of the... I was born while they were still in college. They were so young. They didn't believe in the antiquated institution of marriage. Quick question. Do you know what happened to all the crosses in my room? Yeah, I threw them away. They're gone. You did? They don't belong in this house. You know how I feel about superstitious religious stuff, don't you? I want you to stay away from things like that. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for the chair. It's nice. <laughs> we have a legend, you see. According to the story, the dead rise up from their graves at night to punish children who misbehave. When I was little, if I stayed up past my bedtime, Dad would say, the Okiagari are going to get you. But we'll have to wait for it. Catch them with their pants down when they're almost sure they've won. I don't want you telling anyone about this, okay? I'll be back tomorrow night. So you wait for me. You will wait for me, won't you? to come back. In other words, you rose from the grave because you're special. I'm special. Exactly. Which if you should know that I'm special, even among our kind. For example, I don't need to sleep during the day and I'm fine in the sunlight, so it'd be no problem for me to drag you outside after you fall asleep. Or I could simply hammer a stake into your heart and chop your head off. <gasps> this is good. I'll show them I'm not like the others. Maybe if I show them I can walk like a model. <laughs> Is anyone home? Huh? One second! Honey, could you get the door? Yeah, I got it. Hey, hello! Coming! I'll be right there. Yes? Huh? Good evening, mister. Tell me, have I correctly located the Yuki residence? Uh... Can you be? Don't you have any feelings? Or are you just too good for that, huh? Just go away. I'm not going anywhere, hear me? Huh? If you want to fight, I'd be happy to oblige you some other time. But not here and not now. So calm down and behave yourself. Shut up, kid! I'm older! Don't boss me around! That's right. You're almost a full-grown man. Act like it. I've had it with your stupid mouth! Enough already! 
It's time for you to leave. Get out now. What? You're upset with me? Why aren't you yelling at him? Don't you see how cold he is? You know, you're the one that's being cold, Masu. How can you think that? I'm not cold. I'm mourning Toru. What's that? I know I locked the door. Did Dad unlock it? Look at this, Natsuno. Isn't it wonderful? I hear there's no crime in the village, and the people here don't even bother to lock their doors when they go to bed at night. I know it's different, but I want you to get used to this kind of life. From now on, no more locking doors. not give it as much milk as she used to these days. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> Junior Monk! I can't help but think something is happening here. The epidemic's just one aspect of all of Enough it. Enough already! Who cares if people felt like moving out of here? The epidemic's gaining momentum every day! Do you realize how many people have died already? And this is the kind of crap you're investigating?! You're wasting time we don't have. If you want to be useful, maybe you could start checking the color of the villagers' faces so we know who's gonna die next! I'm yelling instead of listening. Tokujiro, my father and I wanted to know how you were holding up. He insisted on seeing you. First things first, we lock up the house tight, and no one comes in. Natsuno said we can't invite Okiagari into the house. <laughs> Locking the door won't help, silly. And Atsuko? Yes? I think Tokujiro should be hospitalized. Just to be on the safe side, you understand. I won't stay. Huh? Won't you consider it? I don't need to consider anything. I'm going back home. I have to maintain my family's altar. But I don't mind looking after it for you. I don't care. Setsuko died and she was hospitalized. What good can it do me? I will not stay away from home. I must take care of the family altar. So leave me alone. 